Okay, this is going to be a short little video. Uh, Slavon Bilic has come out and said that he is interested in the the, the Celtic job. Uh, he said he'd be very happy to, to coach north of the border. It's a different style of football uh, and it'll be a new challenge for him. He said he's, he's more than happy to be considered for the role, have discussions with Celtic. We know that Neil Lennon's future is, is undecided and this is, inter this is interesting for Celtic, but also it's tricky for Celtic. They have to get this right. Because Neil Lennon has managed there before, he's also played there before. He is sort of a, a club man. Um, but his role was interim, and there's been no kind of inkling from Celtic that they are actually going to extend Neil Lennon further than the end of this season. So it's an interesting one because Neil Lennon has said, you know, whatever the decision, he is happy. You know, if they were to take him on full time, he would happily do it. Uh, but obviously, he had a, a bit of a fiery time at Hibernian. Uh, which led to his dismissal. And he has been highly critical of the game in Scotland when it comes to sectarianism and other issues with Scottish football. He's been very openly vocal. He's also a very fiery character. Slavon Bilic is actually exceptionally similar in the sense that he is a fiery character. He's exceptionally passionate. And I think the Scottish style of football, while it is maybe not the high level of elite quality that we get in the Premier League or the Bundesliga or La Liga in Spain or Serie A or Liga, the, the top five leagues in Europe, it's still a high quality league in the sense that it's the top league in a country. Uh, you know, the players want to win the SPL. They want to win the Scottish Cup. They want to win the Scottish League Cup. These are very historical competitions. And we, we the debate about the standard of Scottish football is, you know, is, you know, it's there. We've discussed it. Slavon Bilic, though, I think would suit Scottish football. It doesn't matter, I think, I don't, it doesn't matter what club you were to put him in the frame for. In, in the top half of the Scottish SBL. He, his style of play as a player and the, the tactics he implements as a manager actually, I think, suits Scottish football. He's a passionate man. He expects his players to be physical uh, and, and, and aggressive, much in the mould of himself. Uh, and he's also instrumental in bringing young players through. You've got to look at his time at Croatia and look at two key players, Rakitic and Modric. Uh, when they were very early on in their international careers, he was the Croatia coach. And, and look what Croatia are doing now and look how key those two players were for them being runners-up at the World Cup and look how those players have won Champions Leagues and La Liga titles and, and been in Cup Finals and, and, and look what they've done in the game as players. And, yeah, you have to look at Slavon Bilic as the guy who recognised these young players at the time over a decade ago and brought them into the Croatian national side and look what they've gone on to become. He laid the, the blueprint for Croatia to be what they are. Uh, he put the building blocks in place for the later managers who came along to build upon his development of these players. So he can also seek talent out. He knows what to look for and develop it. And this is something that I think Scottish football has been lacking is, is a manager who can see that kind of talented player, technical ability or, or defensive ability or physical physicality, whatever the, their talents may be, and get them playing and developing. I think Slavon Bilic can do that. So, And if Celtic want to stay at the top of the SPL because there's a you know, resurgent range under Steven Gerrard, you know, Kilmarnock are in the mix, Aberdeen are still in the top four mix as well. They're not going away. Uh, St Johnston have been pretty solid. Hearts obviously led the SPL in the early stages of the season. Hibs have been there or thereabouts. It's a bit more competitive this year. Whilst obviously Celtic have still managed to win the title with games to spare, which is highly frustrating if you're a neutral and you want to see it go down to the last day of the season kind of thing, have three or four clubs in the title race until very, very late on. It's been a lot closer this year than it was last year. And the gap between Celtic and the rest of the league is slowly closing. And it's getting more congested at that top end of the table, which is something that Scottish football needs. Slavon Bilic will... Uh, you know, if he is interested and if Celtic are considering a change of direction from Neil Lennon or, or you know, that kind of style of management into Slavon Bilic, who's also managed at a far higher level in Europe and at an international level, you know, Celtic want to increase that gap again. They want to keep winning. Uh, and if a person like Slavon Bilic can be linked with the SPL, other managers might go, hang on a second, if this guy's going there, and he comes with this reputation, international manager in the past, you know, he's coached the Premier League, I might want to be considered with this league. And it will possibly encourage other managers and new investment and players to be interested in a league. And Slavon Bilic, he's a fiery character. He's just the Croatian version of Neil Lennon. He's the Croatian version of, of Ali McCoist kind of thing. He is that kind of 
fiery character. Now, we've got Steven Gerrard in the SPL as well. So there is a Premier League link there. There's a quality link there. And it'll be interesting to see if Slav Milic, uh, you know, does have discussions with Celtic. But he has declared his interest in the Celtic job. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Place your comments below. And I'll have some more videos for you very, very soon.